Hey gang, this is Andy, Falco K9 Academy. I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, uh, where it's snowing right now. Uh, the last couple days it was very sunny and we were in short sleeves and everything like that, but now it's uh, a little bit snowy as I'm getting ready to leave here. I just got through dropping off a, a bed bug dog named Blue and training his uh, handler, Sue, and uh, you know, had a great time. Edmonton's beautiful, very fortunate. I was able to see uh, Edmonton Oilers playing the uh, Anaheim Ducks, and uh, the Ducks won uh, by a lot. But it was great to be there. Uh, we got to drive down Wayne Gretzky Avenue and take a picture with Gretzky holding the, uh, the Stanley Cup out there in front of the, uh, the Rexall place. So it was a fantastic time. This is our uh, March 2010 newsletter video. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the contents of this video in our uh, uh, e-newsletter that you got there in your email. Uh, we're going to be talking about some new training tips and some new things that are going on with our pet dogs and our police dogs and our detection dogs. So enjoy the newsletter. We'll see you at the end. Take care. Bye. Got to be back here in sunny Southern California. You know, I love Edmonton, Canada. Uh, maybe a little bit too much snow for me, but glad to be here. Um, glad to be in Edmonton, glad to be anywhere where we're training dogs, working with dogs. You know, in this newsletter we want to cover a few things including the bed bug detection dog program. You know, it's a great program. I don't think I've uh, seen a better program uh, that we could use dogs for than the bed bug detection thing. You know, when you're talking about searching a 500 room hotel or I don't know how many hundreds of rooms are in a cruise ship, but uh, looking at a, from a standpoint of, you know, how many people it would take to go and look in every crack and crevice because bed bugs aren't only in the mattresses they're in the uh, cracks and crevices of the room. A bed bug detection dog can clear all those rooms a heck of a lot quicker than uh, a team of uh, people going in there and looking for these little critters. And so I think it's a great use. You know, Sue and Ryan Kathy, who's the other uh, bed bug detection dog here in Southern California, uh, are great handlers. You know, it's very fortunate that we, uh, you know, have the opportunity to train dogs, but sometimes the human part of it can be a little bit difficult and both Ryan and Sue are fantastic handlers and they're gonna be an asset. Uh, to their customers once they start taking those dog dogs out there and uh, uh, searching for those bed bugs. Uh, one of the things that comes up sometimes in our detection dog stuff is people call us and say, you know, do you do obedience with your dogs because the other guy doesn't or dis didn't offer it? And uh, yeah, uh, I think I believe that obedience and uh, the rest of our team believes that obedience is a huge part of not only detection dog work but patrol dog work too. Um, you know, if you're going to take a dog into somebody's homes and, and, and search for mold or search for termites or bed bugs, uh, you don't want to walk up the door with a dog at the end of the leash, you know, trying to drag you into the home and dragging you down the hallway. Uh, you want to have a professional look. You want a dog that stops and sits at the door and waits for your command to begin the search or to enter the room and that type of stuff. And so obedience is huge, not only from the professional standpoint, but from doing the job. You know, of course, you need to have control over your dog, whether you're doing detection work or patrol dog work. You know, I'm also shocked to hear sometimes when patrol officers will tell me that, you know, in our program, we don't do a lot of obedience. Uh, well, obedience is the groundwork for everything. It uh, helps you in your control work, helps you in SWAT deployments, helps you have control over your dog when you're uh, at a felony car stop and want to order people around to say that you're stuck out there with just you and your dog. Uh, you need your dog to be in a down stay and be quiet while you're ordering these people out one at a time. So. Uh, obedience is huge uh, for us. If uh, you're not doing obedience, you should be. And if your vendor isn't doing obedience, you need to ask them why you need to start doing it. So make sure obedience becomes a part of your program, whether you're a detection dog handler or a patrol, patrol dog handler. Uh, also, back to detection dog work, we're primarily a toy reward uh, system here. We do have David Latimer out there in Alabama who is very uh, good at training dogs with food reward system, but I would like to say that Falco K9 Academy overall is primarily a to toy reward uh, system for the detection dog business. I think the toy reward, uh, when you find the right dog who has a desire to hunt and play with the toy, uh, very strong desire, uh, the toy uh, maintains a pretty good level throughout the dog's uh, career. Uh, whether the dog doesn't feel well maybe that day or um, maybe has a small injury of some sort, you bring that toy out, the dog forgets about all those things and goes, goes to work where food may not be uh, that flexible. All right, so just to kind of throw that out there, you know, we talked about the Onyx program the last couple of newsletters and uh, we're ready to go with the Onyx program. Uh, we've already got uh, one dog and uh, getting two more dogs into the program shortly. And uh, why the Onyx program? Why did we name it Onyx? It's because we had a dog by the name of Onyx who came to us, a black German Shepherd, 
who was extremely aggressive. And uh, Aldo made a difference in that dog using this system, the system he brought to us, and uh, we filtered it through the Falco uh, Canine Academy system and bring you this new program called the Onyx program. Aldo's heading up the program, we're very pleased with his work, very pleased at how he uh, attacks uh, this problem uh, with dogs. And it's just not aggression, it's dogs that are maybe over the top on a lot of issues, uh, digging, jumping, uh, out of happiness, out of aggression, uh, dog aggression, uh, dogs that uh, just don't want to come back when you call them and just continue to run and run and run no matter what type of training you do. Dogs that are over the top on those issues. So the Onyx program is for any of those dogs, not just aggression issues. So make sure and give us a call if you think your dog has a, has a huge problem, uh, the Onyx program might be uh, for your dog. It could be even for your dog if you have a police dog that uh, may be pulling rank on you and uh, doesn't seem to really want to uh, submit to you. Um, the Onyx program is probably for you. Law dog, just in law, but dog over there in Las Vegas. Very pleased with uh, Danny King out there. He does a great job putting it together. Uh, very organized. Uh, the vendors he brings on are fantastic. Always happy to see all the people out there in the police dog uh, industry. Always a good time. Always great job. Uh, great to be able to network and, uh, and bring uh, us together so that we can maybe work together on future programs. You know, the dog industry has a little bit of a bad rep and uh, sometimes deservedly so that we just can't all get along. And uh, the only thing that two trainers can agree on is that the other trainer stinks. Uh, we probably use more colorful words than that, but that's pretty much the gist of it. But the Onyx, uh, the Onyx, <laughs> a law dog uh, program out there in Las Vegas was fantastic. As a matter of fact, uh, we met a vendor out there and uh, I think they're going to give us a tool to add to our cell phone detection dog uh, programs. Uh, this tool that they introduced, it's just getting out there on the market. They have a couple um, uh, new products out there that will help us narrow down the areas where we're going to start searching for cell phones. And uh, I think it's a great complement to the cell phone detection dog. So if you're in the correctional facility business or um, uh, maybe a, a future handler in the correctional facility and you're thinking about adding a cell phone detection dog to your program, uh, give us a call because we, I think this added tool uh, gives us a little bit of a, um, uh, a leg up on, on, on anybody else out there that might be doing this type of business. It's a great, great opportunity for you guys to see what we're doing with this new program. All right, uh, Falco Schutzen Club. We need anybody that not just doesn't want to be a member, but who wants to be on the board. We need some board members uh, to add to our list so that we can submit it to the Schutzen Club uh, head office so that we can get our approval to be a Schutzen Club. So make sure and let us know. Uh, you don't have to be uh, currently uh, have a dog with you right now. If you want to be involved and you're looking at getting maybe a puppy or something started, give us a call now because it's going to take about six months to get this program off the ground. So make sure and let us know if you want to be part of the Schutzen Club. All right, I think that covers it for our newsletter um, uh, this month. So make sure and take a look at our website. We still have a few dogs on there that you might want to look at. We have videos if you have any uh, questions about any of the dogs on there. Make sure and let us know. Uh, Ari is available. We have a few people that are considering maybe taking them, but nobody's uh, made the uh, full-on commitment yet. So if you're interested in Ari and uh, you want to see uh, more pictures of more video of him, just give us a call and we'll, we'll forward them to you. But uh, again, he's a great dog. The only reason we keep pushing him is because he's done and he's uh, ready to go. He needs to uh, go back to work right away. We don't want him sitting around very long. Uh, the other dogs are fantastic dogs too. They're young dogs. They're getting ready to go and uh, they'll be ready for a brand new handler, brand new program. So make sure and give us a call about those. All right, if you have any other questions, give us a call or email us at falcocaninacademy.com. All right, take care. Talk to you later.